What's up? It's Friday, getting ready to start the new week. Uh, for the people who are just getting to know us, my name is Wei King and I teach with my wife, Hope King. We've taught for over a decade together in South Carolina and now we teach here in Atlanta, Georgia at the Ron Clark Academy. And we also uh, present PD uh, for Get Your Teach On and uh, go to different schools. Hope and I are getting ready to start a fantastic fun lesson next week. And so um, we're about to show you a little bit about what goes on behind the scenes. Uh, Hope came up with this idea with her buddy Chris Bambano about Toy Story. So if you've ever been to um, Toy Story Mania uh, and at Disney World or Disneyland, we love going to Disney World, absolutely love it. And so we said, you know what, let's bring that to the classroom. So uh, we got some ideas from that and we said, well, you know what, we're going to do a room transformation. So all a room transformation is, is just changing your environment, environment in your classroom to uh, create an engaging atmosphere for your students and you connect content to it. So Hope came up with this idea for STEAM Mania. So if you're familiar with STEAM, STEAM is an acronym. It stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Mathematics. So you incorporate all those together to teach in, uh, scientific in inquiry. So she came up with all these different challenges within the theme of Toy Story. And so our vision, her vision, is uh, that the students will come into the classroom and they'll be absorbed into Andy from Toy Story's bedroom. And so uh, we've got all these fantastic plans. So one of the hardest things for teachers is to just kind of step back. So you teach your content, right? You teach everything that you're supposed to, and then you actually allow your students to sometimes fail and learn from their mistakes. Now, yes, you always are helping scaffold and, and guiding and, and, and you're there with them, but it's okay to let them fail. And I think that's one of the hardest things sometimes for us to do. So that's what we're gonna be doing this week. So we really, really have to get started. Um, so where do you start? Well, you start from the bottom. We've never done this lesson before, ever, ever, it's the first time. So um, we have to do a lot of prep, a lot of planning, but it's very doable. Let's see how it goes. Let's see what happens. Whew, Toy Story. Here we go. before the room transformation for Toy Story. So we're getting all of our lights together. So we'll be busy setting that up today. And here we go. Yep, we work next door. All of the madness. Almost done hanging these lights. Scared of heights, lights, heights. So now I gotta put these guys in Hope's room. She's been in there getting all the drapery done and all that. So we're gonna paint these blocks here in a second. So how am I gonna get them from there all the way down there? I don't know. I'm about to take these in here uh, and see where they go, but I don't really know. So this is what we got so far. Hope's been working her brains out. Yeah, buddy. So I'm gonna put these in here and let's see what Hope says uh, about their placement. You like the placement of the... Um, Dice. What are those called? Well, those are gonna move because the barrel monkey's gonna be right there. Oh. I think it was critical. The person who did that it's deserves best. like a big round of applause. Yes. But yeah, that's good because it covers the speaker on that side. 
Okay, so that's good there. So one out of two and bad. Found the blue barrel. Here we go. Huh. I got it done. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, maybe a little weak in the center, but. Totally fine. Oh, I, nope, can't fix that. We're done. Ready for the kids tomorrow. You're not posting that Lance's story, are you? No, okay. I'm not. No. Hey, that. who's that? Chris, say hello. Hello. This was what Chris. Do you think, this buddy? was Chris's idea, anyways. Yeah, for real. What's my idea? <laughs> sure, Chris. Look at this. <laughs> it's awesome. Golly, steam mania. Look at this. Golly. These kids are gonna love it. Good morning. So we're here. I'm trying to do this vlog thing fast because I don't like it. Yeah, she hates it, but. He's making me do it. But today's the day, right? And we really need a tripod, but we gotta get professional at this. It's, it's fine, it's totally But fine. today's the day for Steam Mania. We have all kinds of STEM challenges set up. Fifth and sixth grade will be in here. Really, really excited about it. I wrapped up all the science content last week, so that way I could get to team challenges and STEM challenges um, for the end of the year, kind of a fun end of the year wrap up type thing. I'm Buzz. And I'm a cool buzz. I'm a Jesse version. Cool I don't know. This sort is, of. This is my Jesse costume. But I do have on these shoes, if you could see them. Uh, oh, they're really good. Um, here, try. No, I'm just trying uh. to show the bottom. Hold on. Okay, here you go. So it says Andy on the bottom. Andy. Oh, and we're so we're, we're going to do a, um, a call and response today. Yeah, it's an old one. It's an old it's, challenge. It's an old challenge, but it fits. And so we're going to say... Andy's coming, you know, like in the in the movie. And the like, kids fall like toys. Right. And they have to stay frozen. And then you say frozen. clear and then they can move again. It's gonna be great. Yeah, so I'm really excited about it. So we will come back and let y'all know how it goes. <laughs> Was it a success? It was a success. I'm still dying at this vlogging thing. It was fine. It was fine. How do you think it went? It was great. Was thoroughly impressed by some. Some need a lot of exposure, which is a good thing. So now we're going to go work out. Yep. Hope said that we had to. It's your fault. And then we can eat all the things, right? And then we got to go get pizza boxes first for tomorrow. Oh, yes. Pizza boxes. Hey, how are you doing? Um, I'm a teacher, and I was wondering if I could just buy 10 pizza boxes. Could you donate them? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 10. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. They gave them, guys. I'm sure she was looking at me like I was weird, but oh well. So, you know, you can go to Papa John's to get pizza boxes. How excited are you about this, Hope? It's time to get off the phone and get to running. This is, this is a good place though, isn't it? You like running here? There's a policeman looking at me crazy. Policeman looking at me crazy. He's right here. It's, it's all good. <clears throat> but here we go. So this is where we run and exercise. I do these steps and then we run around the park a few miles. Then I do some upper body weight training, I guess. I don't know. Down there. Time to get it. So it's important to kind of prioritize things that you do. And for Hope and I, we do that, obviously, God first and then uh, each other. And then teaching and health is right there with it. So people ask us all the time, how do we have balance? Not really balance, it's just priorities. So keep that straight, have an accountability partner. Oh, there's Hope. Where is she? There she comes. There she comes. So she went to college on two running scholarships. I wrestled the same university 
And uh, no, that's not how we met. You'll have to find out that later. But um, I can only run with her for so long. And then I started doing my wrestling stuff. Now I do BJJ, American Top Team, Atlanta. So where does one even look in the phone? Because when I look in the phone, it doesn't look like I'm looking. I think you look up in the corner. I think I've got to look like right here. Say, hey, hey, Basically, everybody. Not there. But when I look at myself, then it looks like I'm looking up at an angle. Basically, we failed at the vlogging life already. Yeah. It's just an epic fail. fail. So Wade says that um, vlogging is no different than blogging, except for the fact that you have to brush your hair. Yeah. And so obviously I haven't mastered that exactly. Hey, t tell what we're dressed up as tomorrow. So tomorrow we will be um, potato heads. Mr. Just Mr. two lovebirds going to school as potato heads. Wade's finishing up our spray painting job for our pizza boxes tomorrow because it is our fifth grade sim challenge. It's the final thing we have to craft after this. I'm not painting another thing for at least a good Mm, year. So while Wade is out finishing the pizza boxes, I am getting our costumes ready for tomorrow because tomorrow we have this big challenge for our sixth graders. And so I wanted to show you all these costumes. Yeah, you gotta get a close up of these. I mean, come on, come on with those costumes. Just two lovebirds dressed as potato heads teaching school. I mean, what can be better than that? So. I don't know how excited Wade is about it, but he's gonna do it for me. The potato head couple tomorrow. Hope went inside, but she, her last instructions to me was to, uh, to not let any of this get on the sidewalk. And just so you know, if you look here, this was not me. Not me, not me. I'm over here, here. That was already there. And look, there's some more, some more evidence. See, not me, not me. You are my witness, my witness. So it's day two of Toy Story and we had to come to the grocery store early in the morning to get some stuff from Mr. Potato Head. So Hope's already in here. She ran because we try to get to school on time. I have a uh, loft duty today. So let's see if we can find her. So we're doubling up. Whew. I gotta get some eggs because we got to test something with the potato head. Boom. Just left the grocery store. Yes, we did. Stuff. Wade's trying to make it to morning duty on time. Yep, I got two minutes. Two minutes, we're gonna make it. Two. I like oh, this whole vlogging going. thing. It makes Wade in such a good mood in the mornings. They're trying. Oh my goodness, I never knew you could be such a morning person. It's Talk really a miracle. A little bit. What else is a miracle, and what else I love is riding in the Jeep at 7 a.m. with the top off. Makes for a really great New Year's Day. It's about to go on. How do you feel about your Mr. and Miss Potato Head doing a STEM challenge. So, first of all, yep, Hope's making me wear this today, Mr. and Miss Potato Head. It is what it is, but uh, really cool. Hopefully the kids will love it. So we're doing two different uh, lessons today with the fifth and sixth graders. The fifth graders are going to do something dealing with Pizza Planet and solar energy. That's all I can tell you. And then the sixth graders are going to do a STEM challenge dealing with force and motion and Mr. A Potato Head. So um, as I'm gonna tell you now, cause I don't wanna really give it away, but if you come to the Get Your Teach On conferences this summer or the national conference, then um, you can get the details, but we will share them later, obviously. Uh, so you'll be able to hear a little bit more about that. But in Malala, so cool. I mean, I look at her every single day when I'm at the front of the room teaching, such an inspiration. Whew.
the potato head parachutes are really interesting. Wade, do you want to come tell about the potato parachutes? Yeah. It was really interesting. So just gave sixth grade the material we gave that we alluded to some different information tied it into Newton's three laws that we had talked about before. But seeing what they could do with that information was really, really cool. Seeing their trial and their error process, the thought that went into it was extremely powerful, especially when it comes to just stamina, when it comes to execution, all of yep. those things. I thought it was good. Yeah, it was really cool, like seeing the how they would adjust and monitor mm -hmm. and say, oh, this trial, the parachute smooshed together, but then in this one, okay, we need to spread it out a little bit. And then also the height, so they were testing it in here first, and it really wouldn't work out, and so um, also the, when they went um, outside, it worked. So tying it had time into to scientific variables, and like some of them had spent a long time really designing this parachute, but then they kind of wanted to scrap the parachute instead yeah. of altering the length of the string, so that was also really cool. Yeah. So Good times. Well, we're far from being done with that one, but we'll see what happens. So fifth grade is about to come in for the lesson and they are not doing anything with potato heads like sixth grade is doing. However, I'm definitely keeping this on, but they are doing something with this. Ooh, what could it be? Got some materials laid out on the station tops for them. And we've got some materials up front. It's gonna get good. done well we're not done well we just changed the room around because we have 600 visiting educators coming tomorrow and I still look like a 12 year old with a bow in my hair yeah we got people coming to watch us so teach. we had to take the sides, back sides down and the back yeah the back and the sides to where I could fit 100 chairs in my room in addition to my kids in addition to Toy Story it oh, actually looks so. pretty good it looks pretty good in there I it should keep stay. It forever so a lot of great things happen a lot of inquiry based learning and just exciting. So the kids were pumped about it. Day three tomorrow. Day three. Good to see. Now I have to go run and make. Yeah. When want, he's. I don't want when to. He's wanting to go. I don't. When I don't want to go, he. It's all right. I'm tired. We're tired. We tired. We just wrapped up Toy yeah. Story Steam. Um, so one thing that a lot of people say is, this, was this Toy Story a big interest of your kids? Was it an interest of you? And honestly, Toy Story, Disney, anything Disney is one of my favorite things. And so as the end of the year started to wrap up, I knew that I needed something that would kind of keep my energy up because as teachers, we get kind of yeah. bogged down with grading Just and tired. all these different, yeah, I'm, we're very tired right now. And so I was like, oh, this will be perfect, a way to kind of wrap up my science year, incorporate all the things that we've talked about um, throughout the year in science, but then tie in those STEAM skills, but do it in Toy Story format. Because every day when I walked into this room, I just was like, oh. But um, it went extremely well. All of the challenges, um, I just feel like the kids learned so much about communication yeah. and teamwork and collaboration, as well as infusing, like, why is science really important? Oh, it's important because I've got to be able to figure things out and understand how to make it work. And so I thought that their communication skills improved tremendously so yeah so that was really good the lego mazes were really cool um just really impressed with how the their scientific heads. conversations and their reasoning right. because that's one thing i'm about is i'm all about trial and error but i'm more about scientific reasoning doing your research connecting to your prior knowledge and so i think that really enhanced their scientific skills i'm not a big room transformation person but i love this room transformation but i felt like it was difficult yeah, I kind of want to leave it up all the time though. Yeah. Somebody uh, should totally do a Toy Story room theme in their classroom. It's so, yeah. I mean, I'll, we should leave this up just all the time. All so, right. Highly recommended. Do Toy Story. Do Toy Story. You got a friend in us. That was lame. I know. It's fine. <laughs> so, like Hope said, we are done with the Toy Story. So, if you appreciated the video, if you like what we do, if you want to see more of it, just go down, hit that like button, smash it, 